Some things I wanted to like clarify before we get this started. I've done hair for 20 years this year. Um, I've had a lot of experience in the industry and uh, this is through a lot of clients over many years in different cities. And so I do believe like some of the recommendations I, um, I stand by and I stand by firm, but you know, everybody has different experiences with different things. And so that being said, I'm also going to go into skincare as well. <clears throat> and all of this and the results I've had when it comes to me personally, and, and a lot of trans clients I've actually treated as far as their hair goes and whatnot, when it comes to this specifically, all of these people, including myself, are on HRT, which is hormone replacement therapy. Um, and so, and from being on that, your results are going to change because hormone replacement therapy is going to change everything. So within testosterone and over the years of being exposed to testosterone, you have something called DHT, which builds up in the follicle and chokes out the follicle. And then your hair goes through the four stages of hair loss. So we'll start out the segment with talking about hair loss. So you know, there's no way to make your hair grow back. Once it's gone, it's gone. Um, but that being said, a lot of times people don't know that it's actually gone. They just feel like it's gotten thinner. So there's the four stages. And the first stage is the stage where you have beautiful, long, gorgeous, uh, you know, thick strands of hair and your hair is full and there's lots of them and they're all clustered together. That is the first stage. And then each individual, think of it as an individual hair. So say this is the, we'll just start with this one, the big, thick, beautiful hair. And then as time goes on, it gets finer. Uh, it loses its girth, it gets a little bit, you know, wispy, and eventually on the last stage, the fourth stage, it is, um, you can barely even recognize it. It's so small, you don't even be able to see it. It's almost about to fall out. And so the thing is, you know, we all go through shedding cycles, like in the fall, everyone sheds their hair more than any time of year. And so it's important to know that there are natural shedding cycles. But when your hair is actually getting thinner, it's not necessarily just about falling out. It's about it getting thinner and then disappearing. And so, um, so there's, if you catch the hair in any one of those four stages, you're in the clear, you can sustain it. You can make it grow back to its glorious stage using products and different things, topical treatments. But if the hair passes the fourth stage and that is the fifth stage, which is no hair and the hair has fallen out, there is no way to grow that hair back. There is no treatment that's going to make hair come from no hair. So not yet at least. And so there's hair plugs, which remove hair from the back of your head and the sides, and they put it on the front. There are toupees you can glue on. There's all sorts of things. Of course, you have wigs, which I fully support, and I'm actually going to get training into, hopefully, and start to uh, really try and push people to see wigs as more of an accessory, like a purse or a pair of shoes or something like that. And so you, it's more of an expression, which I think hair should be. That's my, my uh, professional opinion over all these years. So um, when it comes to hair loss products in particular... The strongest and most effective one you're going to use, the one that's expensive, it's usually around 50, no, it's more than that, it's like 65 maybe. And so um, this one comes in men's and women's products. Most of these do uh, when it comes to specifically curing hair loss or stopping and slowing down hair loss. Um, and the reason why they come in men's and women's is because one is set for like no hormone replacement therapy and one is usually set for not. So one's a little bit more aggressive when it comes to DHT, which is the testosterone, uh, chemical that gets into your follicle and chokes your hair out over time. And there are other ways to lose hair, but that's one of the main ones, especially when it comes to hormones. So Xenogen, which is the Revolved, it, it, it's called a uh, Revolve. You don't want the Evolve, you want the Revolve. The purple and black bo uh, box is the one that um, works on hair growth. Of course, this is the women's one. And the women's one, I asked them specifically, does it work fine with trans women? And they said, as long as trans women are on their hormones, it will work effectively just like the men's one. So Xenogen, what you do is you shampoo your hair minimum three times a week. You want to leave it on the hair for five minutes, no less, each time you shampoo. So you set a little timer, you do what else you're doing in the shower, and then you rinse it out. Um, they have a conditioner, which I wouldn't you know, really care for or recommend. Supposedly, the, the Revolve does have a conditioner that does have the same treatment in there. But this is where I get into another line of products. And so this is the one I usually recommend for people right off the back. It's not as expensive, but um, it is definitely, um, it's effective. It worked for me when I was going through a shedding stage, when my testosterone was high many years ago. And, uh, and I didn't know that my hormones weren't working. And so uh, this is Kevin Murphy, which is a line I've worked with now for probably 10 years. And so Kevin Murphy has the plumping line. 
um, and you have your wash and you have your conditioner. Now these bottles should last you six months. They would last me six months. They would last any of my clients that have massive amount of hair six months. They're all concentrate. Same with the Xenogen. That's the difference with prof professional products from store-bought products is that they're concentrated, they last you longer, and you're going to get way better results. So you want to buy these products from a salon or from a clinic. You do not want to buy them online. They can be old. They can be a salon that's gone out of business and they're trying to like purge their stock and they could be old products that are no longer working so shampoo and conditioner these are going to give you volume and they're also going to help remove DHT from the follicle which is the testosterone one they have this is the more feminine smelling one uh, they have one that is called stimulate me which is more of a tea tree scent uh, these products also Kevin Murphy's products are interesting because they're color-coded the pinks represent volumizing and building body on the hair the purples are for hydrate and um, and then you have the the yellow is for smoothing and the dark purples are for um, you know like a heavy kind of like moisturizing taming down frizzy gray hair and stuff like that so when it comes to the plumping line there are two products you can use uh, this is body mass which is a spray that you actually use on the scalp of your hair every single day regardless if you shampoo or not and then there's thick again they're both the same product and what you do is you part your hair into sections you spray your scalp and you rub it in these are pretty pricey these are usually the shampoos for the plumping are about 37 a piece so that's two of them then you have these which are about like i think they're like 30 well no they're probably about 42 i think for these and these are going to last you uh, a while you know each one of those should last you six months you spray it in the areas you're concerned about you rub it into the scalp you let it go and you do that every single day so those this line i would recommend uh, above the xenogen um, just because you get the conditioner which is also volumizing it also does that treatment the xenogen is a really good line but it's if you want to really attack it for a while um, the only issue i have with xenogen is that it doesn't have like the beautifying aspect of making the hair like lustrous it's just more specifically that treatment um, and if you're only going to use Xenogen, I would combine it with the plumping conditioner, which gives you volume as well. So, and that's the plumping rinse. Kevin Murphy calls them wash and rinse. So, those are topical treatments. Now, there is a treatment you can do internal. There's vitamins, so on and so forth. People had asked questions about biotin. Um in uh, the questions that I asked and biotin to be honest you have to be deficient in biotin for it to show results and to do that you have to do a blood test on it you have to go to your endocrinologist or someone like that to find it if you are deficient in biotin if you are not deficient in biotin which most people are not um, you are going to have oily skin and oily hair uh, because what happens is the biotin your body's no longer using it because you're not deficient in it and so it'll make um, your follicle excrete excess oil so your hair will get incredibly oily incredibly PC and sectioned out and so I don't recommend biotin that's just my thing uh, the more you look into it the more you'll realize that biotin will actually not make your hair grow faster it, it can even clog the pores so the only time they had results in people with biotin worked is when people were deficient so that's why people got all excited about it but it really is that's that's the truth about it um, now if there's an actual internal one that you would want to use of course it's very expensive uh, it's the Nutrafol which is this is the woman's balance they have the men's balance again hormone therapy matters if you're wanting results like this and these are the things you're looking for so um, this is a vitamin you take I think you do four a day and it has you know I would do a lot of research on it um, you take it with a meal it has a hormone supporting thing which really helps women's hair stop shedding uh, it's an actual vitamins you know they're actual vitamins and that I would recommend over biotin so on and so forth so Neutrophil is very good it's pretty pricey you could probably buy that one online I would be okay with that one but again I always recommend people just go to your hair salon your hair spa it's gonna be the same price as buying it online um, and you know you're getting a product that's not old um, oily hair which a lot of people deal with I always recommend Kevin Murphy's balancing wash which is really good so say if your hair is oily or if it's dry it will always take you back to the center of pH it's a pH balancing shampoo and this one's really good for dealing with all of those issues um, what I'm currently using on my hair and now I don't have shedding issues and so on and so forth but I'm using the semi Delano alpha parf diamond uh, uh, shampoo and conditioner and I actually use their hair mask as my conditioner it's a little round tub that you buy um, and so I use those and it does give you this really intense shine on the hair and I haven't shampooed my hair since Friday and today's 
you know, what is today? Monday. <laughs> so it keeps this really intense shine on your hair from the beginning to the end. It also gives you volume. It does. It's not an oil shine. It's an actual chemical shine, which is interesting. My hair is dirty, and it's been in the hat for a while. Um, so. When it comes to uh, parting my hair down the middle. So when I part my hair down the middle, I feel like I don't like seeing my scalp. So my scalp to me bothers me. Um, it's not like it's thinning or anything like that, but it def there's something about it being white that just, I just don't like it. <laughs> I don't know why. As a hairstylist, I, I don't like a part. I like it to be a solid sort of thing. So um, I actually use a spray and it's what they call like gray coverage temporary spray. We have a professional one, which I did not grab. Um, it's at my salon right now. Um, that you can actually just spray along the hairline. And what you do is you keep your hand like right in the front and you just do a light misting. Now for people who have a lot of hair loss, or if you feel like a lot of times your part is just getting wider or your hairline is getting, um, Sorry, let me get myself sorted. So your hairline is getting uh, further back and so on and so forth. You could spray your scalp. It does give the illusion that the hair is thicker. Some people will love that. A salon that has these products and you would match your hair color and get them like a temporary cover up. Mine would be like a medium to dark brown, you know, for example. Um, so, and blondes, you want to go with the lightest brown or a light brown. There's no real light blonde because otherwise it would make your hair, your scalp yellow, which would be weird. Um, so... Those are the products I use for my hair care. And um, also there's the basics, of course. Cutting your hair is incredibly important. Um, you wanna cut your hair every nine weeks. Uh, all my hair is my natural color. I grow it out all naturally. I don't color my hair. I don't do anything like that. I have very fragile hair. And so I wanted to make it as healthy as possible, especially since my hair is incredibly curly. It's huge. And so I smooth it out and I do all of this. And it, you know, it's like I wanted to keep it as healthy as possible. So I don't do hair color in my hair and I only use heated tools maybe twice a week. So when you do heated tools and when you're combing out your hair, so someone asked in the questions, how do I detangle? Of course, when you're in the shower and you do your shampoo and then you do your conditioner, that is when you want to comb out your hair is when your conditioner is currently in the hair. So what I do is I get a wet brush. You can find them online. There's the professional brand wet brush. You can pick them up anywhere. And you always want to hold your hair like a split into two, like say, like I have it now. And you want to start with the ends of your hair and work your way up. So you're just going to like comb out the knots from the bottom up, never from the top down, because otherwise you're pushing knots and it gets stuck in the center. You always want to start from the ends. Now this is while your conditioner's on. And so then you would rinse your hair and you rinse it all together and you keep all the knots out of it. And then you, when you towel dry, you want to more like pull the hair instead of just roughing it up. Because when you rough it up, that's when you get your tangles. So um, and you know, and hair care is like getting haircuts is important and all of that jazz. Using professional products is important, especially if you want healthy hair. Skin care. Um, I actually use the ZO products. It's the, uh, BioBaji. Um, you can see it right here. It's the ZO Skin Health, which is what I use. Um, so I use their exfoliating cleanser and their gentle cleanser. Um, and I rotate those between certain days on my skin and it really does help. Their retinol, it is the uh, wrinkle texture and yeah, the wrinkle texture repair. These are all very strong products. I work with them, my coworkers have them, I buy them at my work. The Zio products are incredibly strong and I cannot stress enough going to someone who's professional to use them because you can actually burn yourself. I like almost got there. And so you have to have it recommended and have an assessment done on your skin when you use the Zio products. Um, and of course, when you do the wrinkle and texture repair, you're going to follow it up. So you do your retinol one night, and then the next night you're going to do the exfoliator. What is it? The acceleration exfoliator. That one's going to help get all of that dead skin off. So those are really good. Each day I use a chemical pad, which is like a, you know, it's a complexion renewal pad. It's got all the, you know, hydroxy acids and all that stuff. And I use, they're like little pads in there. And I use, the Zero ones are strong. They're very strong. So I use these uh, once a day, sometimes once every two days. People recommend twice a day. I think they're crazy. So I'd recommend, <laughs> my skin just can't handle it. And, um, and so there's those. And if I really want to do a good exfoliator, this is probably my favorite product of theirs. And it is the exfoliating polish, which is a really good product. It's, it's basically like a paste that's got really, really fine granule pieces in it, and you can really exfoliate the dead skin off. So I really enjoy those. Um, I also use um, Elastin products, and I use the Elastin moisturizer. I use that every night. Sometimes I'll go for a few days and only use moisturizer and then go back to my routine because I feel like I get really dried out sometimes. 
But I also use the Elastin Tinted Moisturizer, which is what I'm wearing right now as my foundation. And you can layer it um, and add more depth to it. But this product's really good. But if you want to get like coverage coverage, you're going to want to combine, you want to do this and then do another layer of your thicker um, um, foundation, which is what I use when I go out at night. During the day, I try to use a tinted moisturizer, add a little powder, little stuff. And I try not to wear eyeliner during the day. Um, and so... Yes, that's kind of my skincare routine and my hair care routine and what I recommend for people with thinning hair, fine hair, and of course all of this boils down to your hormones. So what hormones you have and what you don't have, testosterone uh, can, you know, it'll build up in your follicle and can wreck your hair. Uh, it will thin your hair out and all of that. So. Um, and if you're heat, using heated tools, of course you want to use a heat protectant. It's incredibly important that you do one. And if you have fine hair, and there's a lot of trans women who have very fine, you know, very wispy hair, you want to use a heated tool that's no more than 300 to 350 degrees. If you have thick hair, which mine is, I use 400 just because it's a pain in my ass, but I probably shouldn't use that that high. <laughs> I do like 360, 370, you know, and whenever you pass over a section with a heated tool, you only want to do it once and then let it rest and leave it alone. You don't want to be like constantly curling, constantly flat ironing because you're just burning your hair. It's going to burn your hair. So all of this being said and me talking about oh, and styling products, if you have fine hair, I would recommend doing uh, the Kevin Murphy Ever Thicken, which is their heated, uh, the heat activated line. Oh, it's the, yeah, the Ever Thicken. So these are blow dry. It's their blow dry line. They all look like this. They have little symbols on the side. Uh, these are heat activated and will, the Ever Thicken will give you plenty of volume to your hair. Um, if you are wanting smoother, they have the Ever Smooth, which is what I was using for a long time. I'm currently using the Alpha Parf styling product for my shine. And, um, but so you have the Ever Thicken heat activated. Um, and then you also have their Ever Smooth, which is for like frizzy hair. You have Ever Bounce, which is for like when, if you wear your hair curly all the time. So it's like a setting lotion. Um, and then you have Ever Lift, which is lift for the base. If you want to have big bombshell hair, you do the Ever Lift to the base. All of their Ever products are all heat activated. They will not work if you don't use heat on your hair, like a blow dryer or a curling iron or something like that. Then there's something else to be said. So if you are a male and, you're, and you've lost your hair, there are toupees. There are toupees you can get that are really good these days. They glue on. There's wigs that you can get. They glue on. It's all wonderful. Um, the thing is, like, my advice when it comes to the insecurity of our hair, and this is my philosophical thing with hair. So I don't color my hair, and I have gray. There's all sorts of gray rolling through my hair. A lot of people can't see it. They think it's like a shine, but actually it's like gray hair. Um, and people are like, she's a stylist and she doesn't color her hair. And I, I just think we've kind of moved on from that. And I hope that we're moving away from that as an industry, away from the, you know, you have to look like this to be beautiful. And we have moved away from that. I, I think that's the, the new, new future of, and it doesn't mean that you don't have beautiful hair. So you don't strive to have like terrible looking hair. That's not what I'm saying. So what you do is like, I do like the idea of wigs. Like I've actually thought about cutting all my hair off and having like a really cute, crazy short mullet, which I would love. Um, and then doing wigs and having wigs that match each one of my outfits, like a bob one day and something else another day. And, and, and so there's this, and those wigs are very expensive. So I kind of want to get training on it where they're like, they're like $2,000 a piece wig. You know, they're going to be perfect. You're going to see your scalp through it. There's going to be a lace front. It's going to be beautiful. So if I was losing my hair, I would not, and it was like happening. And, and even if I slowed it down and kept it where I was, I would just shave my head. I mean, to be honest, and I would wear wigs all the time. Like I would get rid of the problem and I would just wear beautiful, beautiful wigs all the time. If it bothered me emotionally, that's what I would do. Um, but you know, there's really, we just, uh, generations have changed. We've moved on from these things. Now we all have our own thing. So for me, my skin is my big thing. Like I'm 37 years old now. I've been on hormones for a long time. I get chemical peels. I get, uh, I've had Botox. I've had my lips filled three times, which they're due because it's almost just all gone now. It all metabolizes out of your system. So filler is something I've only done in my lips, which I don't plan on doing on my face at all, hopefully. Um, but I do Botox and Botox is not a filler. All it does is actually deaden nerves in areas and I actually just had mine done. So you can see I can smile and there's not a, there's no wrinkles showing up here. Maybe like right here, but like right here, there is nothing there. And, and like squeezing, like you can't, that's as hard as I can squeeze. 
and she does the corners of my mouth to slightly turn them up because it makes you look younger. So Botox is a very effective thing at making you look very youthful and soft and, and all of that. Uh, she'll do my eyebrows to raise them slightly. So it does, you want a really good Botox person, you know, just want to go to a cheap person. Usually they're very expensive. They're booked up for a long time. So I, where I work, my boss does it and she's exceptionally talented at it. So I let her do whatever she wants. Um, so Botox is one of the things like people are like, oh, your skin's so beautiful, yada, yada. I'm like, it's because I got Botox done. <laughs> and so the skin will look smooth and solid. And, uh, and that's something that my... I don't care about my hair going gray. Um, I, I just want my skin to be beautiful. You know, I've always wanted just beautiful skin my whole life. So when it comes to skin and laser hair removal, laser, uh, so that you have laser and you have electrolysis. For me, I have a very brutal opinion on electrolysis, um, but it does have its place and I'll go into that as well. So I have had laser done in my face probably 10, 15 times. I don't have any facial hair left anymore. And if the ones, the little bits I do are like these, these little hairs I can just tweeze every once in a while, like every week or so I'll just go bing, 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 and I'm done. And, and it's no big deal. It takes five minutes. So, um, and that's because I've had so much laser done. The hairs have thinned out to almost nothing. Um, and then laser targets dark hair. So they put a little gel, a conductor on you, and they will laser it, and it will go into the skin, and it will attack the dark hair follicles. And laser, you can get the whole face done in 30 minutes. You know, it's very fast. You're like, bing, 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 and you go back every eight weeks to about six to eight weeks. And so when you do electrolysis, the only reason people should do electrolysis is if they have light hair. So if you have blonde hair in your face, the dark gray, stubbly hair, electrolysis is the key because it won't, laser does not pick up on light hair. So electrolysis has a little probe, it goes into the skin and it zaps the follicle and then they tweeze the hair right out of there. And so I did electrolysis and I believed it was just a complete waste of time. It drove me insane and it cost up a lot of money and it just drove me nuts. So I, and they will convince you when you go to these clinics that you should just constantly come and spend all your money. And I'm like, just get the laser done. It covers the whole area. So I've been doing laser on my face for years and every now and then I'll do a quick little touch up with the um, IPL, which is the dark sunspot remover. It's an IPL laser. So I remove all the dark spots in my skin and on my legs, I actually have my legs lasered now. So I only have to shave maybe once a week on my legs, which is really nice. And in the summer, I'll just wax and not have to have um, razor bumps and stuff like that on your legs. There are things you can do as far as topical. And these are things that I've discovered that are amazing. And I had no idea I could do this. So I actually use the ZO products there, retinol. And one of these small bottles will last me three, four months on my legs. So what I do is I do a few pumps and I'll actually combine it with a little bit of lotion, body lotion. And I'll rub it into the areas that I want my skin to be a solid, beautiful one color. No dark spots, no like, you know, from years of like hair removal and stuff like that, uh, tweezing and, and acne and whatever uh, on your body. So what I do is, or shaving, so or mosquito bites, everything, you know, it's like they, they leave these little dark spots. And so I use the retinol and it actually will like, like take off those outer layers of skin and eventually, and you exfoliate with like a, exfoli a dry brushing is a really good technique. It's like a, you rub your skin to get all the dead skin cells off of it. And basically, Basically, those dark spots will lighten up, and I can't tell you what a game changer that one was, because my legs and my ass, I'll say, look so much better than what they used to look, and I had no idea I could do with retinol. The other one I started doing is Exfoliation Accelerator by Zio Skincare, and this one you do on your face after you use your wrinkle texture repair, but I started using it every second day on my body, and I think what it does is it uh, accelerates skin cell turnover. And it will actually dry out those dark spots. And then when I use the retinol again, it'll just remove it and I scrub it off. And I have this, it's worked really well. So I don't get ingrown hairs in my legs anymore. I don't have any dark spots anymore. It is a huge relief. Not just for you know being transgender and having, having had body hair, but it's actually like, a, um, it helps me with my dysphoria looking at my body. Um, so those are my products. That is my skincare. That is my, what I recommend. And, and all of that jazz. So, and waxing is effective too. I mean, you can wax and wax your legs and it will thin out over time. At least that's what, you know, um, I've noticed it. Like doing your eyebrows, waxing them. I, don't, I haven't waxed my eyebrows in years and they just stay exactly like this. I do want to actually get them, um, I'm using a product uh, to thicken them back up again so they're actually going to start to regrow. I don't want to like, I don't like the thin eyebrow look on me. I could get microblading, but I kind of want to grow my hair back. 
Anyway, those are my products. If you have any questions, you can pop them in the comment section and then I'll hopefully get back to you. But I think that that about covers everything. Um, and just remember, whenever you're buying any of these products, you want to look them up online first. And when you look them up online, then uh, go to a spa or a hair, a hair salon, a hair spa, and purchase them directly from them. I already know the topic I'm going to do for my next video is going to be on hormone therapy. I'm going to do it all on and all on hormone therapy and my experiences, bad doctors, good doctors, stigmatized by the public. Um, and I'm going to go into that. I also want to go into um, authentic allies. I thought that would be a really interesting subject. So there's a lot of people who, you know, we talk about our allies and people that accept us. And and I, I'm calling bullshit on, bullshit on a lot of them. And a lot of people hate that. Like, we need our allies. And I'm like, yes, but I'm going to go into that in that in that video, the hormone video as well. I think there's a lot of bullshit out there with our allies. So um, anyway, I hope you all have a great day and I hope you enjoy this video. I hope it helps you and I have, and I'll see you next time. Bye.